Hi, welcome to Fullerton's Professional Organizing. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of more. More possessions, more achievements, more of everything. However, true abundance doesn't come from accumulating things. It comes from living a life rooted in purpose and simplicity. In this podcast, we'll explore some lessons on abundance and how living with less can lead to a richer more fulfilling life now understanding abundance um and since i am a faith-based company i am going to use some faith-based examples the bible offers timeless wisdom on living a life of abundance through simplicity and our faith here are a few of these key lessons that I want to um, let you know about. One is contentment over consumption. Philippians 4, 11 through 12 says, I have learned to be content wherever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. Embrace contentment by appreciating what you have instead of con constantly striving for more. This mindset shift can lead to a greater peace and satisfaction. Now, number two is generosity and sharing. Acts 20 and 35 says it is more blessed to give than to receive. True abundance comes from a heart that is willing to give and share with others. Practicing generosity can bring joy and fulfillment that material possessions cannot. Now three, simplicity and focus. Matthew 6, 19 through 21 says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let's focus on what truly matters, relationships, spiritual growth, and experiences rather than accumulating material wealth. Now, let's practice the practical steps to living with less is implementing these biblical principles in your daily life, and this can help you live more abundantly with less declutter your space we say that a lot in our podcast starting by decluttering your home that's number one let go of items that no longer serve a purpose or bring you joy this creates a more peaceful and organized living environment number two mindful consumption be intentional about what you bring into your home Ask yourself if each item aligns with your values and truly enhances your life. Three is gratitude. Practice gratitude. Cultivate a habit of gratitude by regularly reflecting on the blessings in your life. This helps shift your focus from what you lack to the abundance you already have. Now, on the flip side of that, there's another topic I want to bring into this discussion, and that is organizing for abundance, creating space for what does matter in your life. In our busy lives, it's easy to get overwhelmed by clutter and chaos. However, true abundance comes from creating space for the things that matter most, whether that's quality time with loved ones, personal growth, or our spiritual well-being. In this podcast, we're also going to talk about some practical tips on how to organize your home and life to invite more abundance and fulfillment. Now, the we are the connection between organization and abundance is going to be clear. We're organizing your physical space. Organizing your sp physical space can have that profound impact on your mental and emotional 
well-being. Here are a few ways how. All right, and we're going to start. Number one is clarity and focus. A well-organized space reduces distractions, helping you to focus on your goals and priorities. Number two, reduced stress. Clutter can be a significant source of stress. By creating an orderly environment, you can foster a sense of calm and peace. Number three, more time for what really matters. Efficient organization saves time. That can be spent on activities and the people that you love contributing to a more fulfilling life. Now, some practical tips for organizing your space are implementing these organizational strategies that I'm fixing to mention will help you create an environment that supports abundance. Number one is declutter regularly. We talk about this regularly. Make it a habit to go through your belongings periodically. Keep only what you need, love, and use regularly. Donate or discard. Donate or discard. Um, sorry, I lost my place. Uh, <laughs> the rest. You're going to donate or discard the rest. Maximize storage solutions. Use storage solutions like bins, baskets, and shelves to keep items organized and accessible. Label everything to make finding items easier and putting things back where they go easier for the whole family. Now, number three, because number one was declutter regularly. Two was maximize storage solutions. Three is create functional zones. Designate specific areas for different activities. A reading nook, for example, a workstation. To keep your space organized and purposeful. Okay, number four. Embrace some minimalism. You don't have to be a, a complete minimalist and really a minimalist is just um, less things. Okay? Simplify your decor and possessions. A minimalist approach can create a sense of spaciousness and clarity. Alright, now how to maintain and organize your spaces. We are going to discuss. All right, to sustain an organized and abundant lifestyle, consider these tips. Number one, daily tidying. We said this in the last podcast. Spend a few minutes each day tidying up to maintain order and prevent clutter from accumulating. All right, number two, mindful consumption. We talked about this also. Be intentional about what you bring into your home. Choose items that add value and joy to your life. Three, all right, one was daily tidying, two was mindful consumption, Three is gratitude, pra uh, gratitude. Regularly practice gratitude to focus on the abundance you already have. Let's, you know, concentrate on the positives. This positive mindset can help you maintain a cl clutter-free and contented life. Now, are you ready to transform form your space and life for more abundance? Subscribe to Fullerton's Professional Organizing Podcast, all the social media channels that I'm on, and YouTube for more tips on creating an organized and fulfilling home. 
share your own organizing success and challenges in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Organizing for abundance is about more than just tidying up. It's about creating a life that allows you to focus on what truly matters by decluttering, maximizing storage, and adopting a minimalist approach. You can transform your home into a sanctuary of peace and productivity. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to do, like I said before, subscribe. But living with less is not about deprivation. Remember that. It's about making room for what truly matters. By embracing the biblical principles of contentment, generosity, and simplicity, you can cultivate a life rich in purpose and joy. Remember, true abundance comes from within and is reflected in how we live our lives. If you found these insights helpful, go ahead and subscribe to all my social media and you'll get more tips on that. And I know I've said that already, but we've said it now three times. <laughs> all right. Thank you for listening and I will talk to you in the next podcast.